Open Collective releases Magnum V4 series models from 9B to 123B parameters. Wow, that's quite a range. Yeah, it really shows what they're going for with this release, not just focusing on one thing. They're trying to make tools for anything from, you know, simple things to really complex research. So we've got models with 9 billion parameters, 12 billion, even a massive 123 billion. Why so many options? What's the advantage? Well, think about it this way. You wouldn't use a sledgehammer to hang a picture, would you? The smaller models, like the 9B or 12B, those are great for when you need speed, efficiency, like chatbots, real-time translation, that sort of thing. Right. Use the right tool for the job. Smaller tool for a smaller job. Yeah, exactly. But then when you need to do something really complex, like creating high-quality content, serious data analysis, that's when you bring in the big guns, those 72B and 123B models. So Open Collective is putting together a toolbox, not just giving us one tool. That's it. And the really interesting thing is this whole toolbox, they're making it open source. Right. No keeping these powerful models hidden behind paywalls. It's a big move. Could really shake things up in the AI world. Imagine developers, researchers, whoever, no matter how much money they have, suddenly they can use these cutting edge tools. It could lead to so many new ideas, new applications. It's like they're really emphasizing making AI more accessible. And I don't just mean available, but also actually usable. And we've seen that in how they design these Magnum V4 models, right? They yeah. really focused on efficiency. Oh, absolutely. They've got some really smart techniques to make these models less resource intensive. Parameter sharing, for example. It's kind of like... Okay, before we get too technical, can you give us an example? Something that makes sense even if you're not a computer scientist. Clear throat? Sure. Yeah. Imagine you have a suitcase and you need to pack all sorts of different things in it. Parameter sharing, it's like having some of those things share the same compartments. You're making the most of the space you have. So more efficient, faster processing, less demanding on the hardware. Exactly. And on top of that, they've improved something called sparsity. Basically, it's like going through that suitcase and taking out anything you don't actually need makes the model lighter, even more efficient. That's huge for making AI accessible. Not everyone has a server farm in their basement, right? Yeah. And speaking of accessibility, it seems like people are already trying out Magnum V4, seeing what it can do. We saw some interesting reactions on Reddit over on the local Emma subreddit, which for anyone who doesn't know, it's a pretty popular online community, all about open source AI. Oh, yeah. That's a great place to see those early reactions. What are people saying? Lots of buzz. People are really impressed with the creative writing abilities of Magnum V4. They're saying it's a huge step forward, especially for creating realistic dialogue, you know, like for role playing, storytelling, that kind of thing. Yeah, it sounds like Open Collective really achieved what they were going for. Remember how they talked about mimicking models like Claude, the writing style, the narrative abilities? It seems like they nailed it. They really seem to have captured that creative side. But it's not all perfect, is it? There have been some, well, interesting findings with the 72B model. 72B, yeah. Seems to have a bit of a reputation now, taking conversations in a bit of an unexpected direction. That's one way to put it. Some users are a little concerned, shall we say, about the model generating outputs that are, well, not exactly safe for work. It shows the challenges of open source development, you know? It's yeah. a trade-off. Transparency, rapid iteration, fantastic for innovation. But it also means these unintended consequences can pop up. Walking a tightrope, trying to push the boundaries of what's possible, but also make sure these powerful tools are being used responsibly. Exactly. And that's what makes the whole open source AI conversation so interesting, right? The ethical side of it. Making these tools available to everyone and the responsibility that comes with that. Like giving someone the keys to a really powerful car. Exhilarating, but you need skill. You need caution. Great analogy. Okay, so looking at the bigger picture, where do you see Magnum V4 fitting into the world of open source AI? I think it has the potential to change things, you know, really be a catalyst. Making these models so accessible, Open Collective is democratizing AI development. It's like they're saying, come on, everyone, let's see what we can build together. Refreshing approach could lead to a much more diverse and inclusive AI landscape. And it's not just about being inclusive, it's about pushing those boundaries. Mm. We're seeing users say that Magnum V4, especially the 123B model, it's rivaling some of the top proprietary models out there. Interesting. And we know Open Collective didn't skimp on these models. They used a huge data set, all, all those efficiency improvements we were talking about. So are we saying open source AI could actually be competing with the big companies, the big names, head to head? It's a real possibility. Mm -hmm. And that brings up some interesting questions for the future, right? Will we see more people working together, sharing what they know, sharing resources? It's like the difference between, I don't know, a private garden and a big public park. I 
like that. And now imagine that park suddenly has all the best equipment, everything's new, and everyone can use it for free. And that's the thing with Magnum 4. Open Collective is giving us that. A chance to push those boundaries, see what AI can really do. And a lot of people are going to take that chance, I think. This could be the start of something big, a whole new wave of innovation. People working together, having access to these powerful tools. Okay, so we've covered a lot today. Open Collective's Magnum Fee 4 release. We talked about why all those different model sizes, why that's important. And we talked about what people are saying about it, what's working, what's maybe not working so well. Right, and we also got into that really important idea of responsible AI development. Open source projects like this, they bring amazing opportunities, but also some real challenges. It's clear Open Collective is pushing the limits of open source AI. Yeah. It's gonna be fascinating to see how this changes things going forward. Now, here's something to think about. If you had the power of Magnum V4, what would you build? The tools are there, and there's no limit to what's possible.